Hey, Polly. Polly might have moved slow. But it was only because Polly didn't have to move for anybody. Welcome to another program of comics and pop culture shorts. Today, we pay tribute to the late actor Paul Sorvino. Paul Anthony Sorvino was born April 13, 1939, and passed away July 25, 2022, was an American actor, opera singer, businessman, and writer. He often portrayed authority figures on both the criminal and the law enforcement sides of the law. He was born in Brooklyn, New York City. His mother, Angela, Renzi, was a piano teacher of Italian descent. His father, Ford Sorvino, was an Italian immigrant who worked in a robe factory as a foreman. Paul originally had his heart set on a life as an opera singer. Mama son tanto felice. He was exposed to dramatic arts while studying at the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York and eventually made his film debut in Where's Papa, 1970. Sorvino suffered from severe asthma and worked hard at mastering various breathing techniques to manage the illness. He wrote a best-selling book entitled How to Become a Former Asthmatic. He also started the Sorvino Asthma Foundation based in New York City. Sorvino began his career as a copywriter in an advertising agency. He took voice lessons for 18 years. He decided to go into the theater. He made his Broadway debut in the 1964 musical Bajour. His early film roles include The Panic in Needle Park, Cry Uncle, Made for Each Other, and A Touch of Class. In 1977 he did a comic turn as the Reverend Willie Williams in the George Burns classic Oh God. The Bible tells us that God knows the falling of a sparrow and the depth of a pocket, and that is what I'm talking about. He also turned up in The Gambler, not the Kenny Rogers film, Angel and Big Joe and Blood Brothers, to name a few. 1978 saw him in a movie based on a true story called The Brinks Job with Peter Falk. Latch on to the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In Between. The 1980s found him in films like Cruising, Reds, I the Jury in that championship season, an American film based on the play of the same name. How does that feel? Scary, isn't it? George. Come on. Put the gun down, George. It stars Robert Mitchum, Martin Sheen, Bruce Dern, Stacey Keach, and Paul Sorvino, who had also appeared in the play and was the only cast member who appeared in the play. He followed that up with Off the Wall, A Fine Mess, Turk 182, and The Stuff. Tonight, America is in grave danger. We are under alien attack. His career really took off in the 1990s. First, he appeared as Lips Manless in the Warren Beatty adaptation of the comic book Dick Tracy. Get dirty, Lips. You need a bath. Not the bath! Not the bath, big boy! Not the bath! Then came the role he was most well known for as the real-life gangster Paul Cicero in Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas. Listen. When you say, how did I find the way to be that kind of fellow, it was very difficult. And I was quitting. And I called my manager and said, let me out of this. I, I can't do it. Because, you know, it, 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 the externals of the role, that is to say, the walk, the talk. Yeah, middle-aged Italian-American man from New York. Really hard. But the real difficulty there was the inner life. That kind of lethality. The same guy who could say, hey, white that bastard. You know, these Gava deals are really good. You should get some of that. When I was trying to find this, I was really at a loss. Get me out. I called him up and said, get me out. Right. And uh, then uh, I was going to fix my tie, and, and I saw this guy. And it scared the hell out of me. And you thought, and right, I said, I got what it. was that? Oh, that's the guy. Done. So that's how that happened. That's what you... Following that, he would appear in such diverse films as The Rocketeer, Love is All There Is, Romeo and Juliet. Then he portrayed Henry Kissinger in Nixon. That's what geopolitics is about. The linking of the whole world for self-interest. He would appear in Money Talks, Most Wanted, Bullworth and topping off the decade of the 1990s in the Jean-Claude Van Damme movie Knockoff. The 2000s saw his star start to wane as he would appear in many foreign-produced and straight-to-video releases. Some highlights from this time include Mr. 3000 and Greetings from the Shore. He returned to his gangster-type roles in 2011's Kill the Irishman, starring Ray Stevenson, Vincent D'Onofrio, Christopher Walken, and Val Kilmer. Once Upon a Time in Queens is another gangster film he starred in that also featured Ches Palminteri. Other films of note include The Immigrant, Careful What You Wish For, and The Bronx Bull, a film about boxer Jake Lamada. That was a brief look at the film career of the late Paul Sorvino. We hope you enjoyed this look back at the career of this prolific actor. Until next time, this is Andrew Wynn for Kevin Gibbon saying live long and prosper. May the force be with you and keep reaching for the stars.